Well, we have lots of email questions from you today. And so, Pat, let's start with this one from Judy. All right. She says, both of my sons, who are in their late 40s and early 50s, are addicted to chewing tobacco. I think both of them would like to quit and have quit for a while, but always go back. I believe all addictions are demonic, and that's why they're so difficult to break. Satan has, in my opinion, built a stronghold in their minds, and they're being held captive to this addiction. I know the youngest one is born again, and the oldest one claims to be, but has no fruit to show. I think it is a generational stronghold or curse because nicotine addiction has been in the family. How would you pray against something like this? I want my son set free. Well, very frankly, if you want a practical answer to that one, uh, show them some pictures of somebody who's got cancer of the throat. And that stuff, chewing tobacco, will lead to cancer of the throat, which is just horrible. And you show somebody with half of their face gone, and you can say, this is what that stuff does to you. You put a blot of that in your cheek, and the next thing you know is cancer, so you have to cut your cheek out. That's what I would recommend. Now, demonic, I don't know. I think you're right. I think addictions. The devil will lay hold of an addiction and amplify it, but the addiction is there because of the the uh, pull of the of the the nicotine, and it, it it isn't a habit forming type of thing. But it's a fairly easy one to break. I mean, chewing tobacco is not exactly something that is a hard thing to get rid of. You just have to stop. It's a nasty subject, and you know the congressman up in Washington. Each one used to have. As part of their office furniture it was a spit tune, so they could yeah. chew tobacco and spit in the in the uh, yep. spit tune. <laughs> that made it as part of the furniture in, in a congressman's office. Just presumed. That yeah, because I mean they all chew tobacco. Well, uh, it's not a cool thing. Okay, but that that's it's what I would recommend. Get pictures of somebody whose face has been eaten out by that mess, and that's what it'll do. All right. Thank you for watching the 700 Club on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. To watch more great videos, check out the link in the description box below to download our CBN app.